Hello and welcome to Nine's Daily Dilemmas, where we look at real things that affect our everyday lives. I'm your host, Pip O'Connell, and today we're talking about alcohol and the effect it has on teenagers. With me are Professor Steve Alsop from the National Drug Research Institute, and joining him is Dr Omar Korshid, President of the AMA Western Australia. Welcome to you both. Firstly to you, Omar, what makes a healthy teen? Teenage years are about finding some balance, giving teenagers the space to work out who they are, but also doing it so in a, in a really safe environment. That's really the challenge for parents. And it's also about letting teenagers work out uh, where their boundaries are, but without those risks that are associated with alcohol and drug use. And Steve, talk to us a little bit about what are some of the short and long-term effects of exposure to alcohol for a child. We simply don't know what low risk drinking is for young people, which is why the national guidelines say the safest option is, is not to drink when you're under 18. And the risks are largely to do with intoxication. So that might be the, the risk of injury, um, other risk taking behaviours, for example, reputational damage. In this day and age when every move you make is recorded on an iPhone and possibly put up for everybody to see. When you look at the longer term harms, if people become risky drinkers when they're very young, they're much more likely to have mental health problems when they're later in life, more likely to become dependent on alcohol, um, and of course, as a consequence of that, have a range of health problems. So how do we address that predisposition for some kids to binge drink? There's a few things we can do. Some of them are actually on a, on a population level. So if we look at the price of the really cheap alcohol, we can affect the size of a binge, can't we? Because you've only got a certain amount of money and if the really, really cheap alcohol is actually a little more expensive, then you're going to reduce consumption uh, for that reason alone. And I think we also have to emphasise the role of parents. Uh, one of the things to do is to talk to other parents about what your expectations are if the children socialise together or if they go to a party. So that Southern European approach to giving alcohol to a child early is actually a little bit of a myth? There's no evidence that giving alcohol to young people actually make things better and there is evidence that giving young people actually can make things worse. Some of the Southern European countries are amongst the heaviest drinking countries in the world and they have significant health problems as a consequence of that. Very high rates of cirrhosis of the liver, much higher rates than Australia, very high rates of alcohol related brain injury. Well, that's all we've got time for today, but there is a lot more to discuss on this topic and many other topics as well. So make sure you watch out for the next instalment of Nine's Daily Dilemmas. Thanks for joining us today, though. See you next time.